Hi, today I want to show you a tutorial for how to make a seamless repeating pattern in Canva.com. So I was inspired by the Love to Sew podcast today where these ladies from Spoonflower were talking about how to um, make seamless repeats. And they do have some tutorials, but there was no tutorial for Canva, which is something that's free and easy to use. So the tutorial that I'm going to show you is basically a digital version of this tutorial here, which is done with paper and cutting it in half. So I was inspired by this tutorial that I found on this website here. Um, so I'll link all these in the notes, but let's just get into this Canva tutorial. So I've started with a canvas that's 1200 by 1200 pixels. So for an 8 inch by 8 inch um, swatch at 150 dpi you need to start with a 1200 by 1200 pixel canvas. So if you wanted to make it bigger or smaller you'd have to adjust your original but um, that's a good place to start. And then what I did is I filled in my little canvas with these um, elements that I found on Creative Market. Then what I did was I downloaded that design and now I'm just going to upload that design back into Canva. So as you can see this design is now here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start again and I'm going to go 1200 by 1200 pixels in custom design. And I'm going to go to my uploads and I'm going to add my design. I'm going to push it right up to the edge so those two pink lines were there and then I'm going to make it fill the whole canvas and my mouse is not working that well so I'm just gonna do my best. Now while it's still selected we're going to basically digitally cut it in half and I'm just going to do that by dragging it across so I'm going to drag it across to the left and I'm not going up and down I'm just going across to the left so that I get that pink line which means that I've cut it in half now I'm going to copy it and drag it across to the right and get that pink line again so now I've got it um, half and half on the left and the right and this bit in the middle, I'm just going to fill in with a couple more items. So I'll just put a wee pineapple there. And a nice frond. Let's flip it and change the size. Make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is download again and once I've downloaded this I'm going to re-upload it and do the same process but do it up and down and this way I'm going to get um, all my edges are going to match the other edge the opposite edge and that's what you want in a seamless pattern the left and right edge need to match and the top and the bottom edge need to match so I'm just going to drag that up into my um, uploads and I'm just going to delete all of that and start fresh with this one here. Okay, easiest way to get it to fill the canvas is to push it up and then drag it down. And of course if you've got a decent mouse, which I don't right now, you will take a little bit more time to make sure that's perfect. So now like I said, I'm going to Instead of doing it left and right, I'm going to cut it up and down. So I'm going to push it all the way up until I get that nice pink line in the middle. So that's how I know it's exactly on half. I'm going to copy it and bring it down. Get that nice pink line. Yep, that'll do. And then um, this middle bit here, I'm just going to add a couple of elements to make it a bit more this to fill in any um, random white space that you might have right there we go 
So now what you can do is this is now your seamless pattern. So this left hand side matches up with the right hand side and the top matches up with the bottom. And you can now do a little test if you want. So just download that again. And then I um, will upload it into a canvas that's slightly bigger. And then you can butt them together and see how well you've done with your seamlessness. Um, this one might not be that great because I've tried not to go too slow. I've tried to rush. Okay, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. We'll make this 240. 2400 I should say and try our new design go to click to uploads and I already uploaded the pattern which is there and I'll just put it in the corner make it smaller I'll copy it and then I should be able to align it and you shouldn't be able to see where the two patterns are so that looks good that way and then we'll copy the whole thing that way and see how we've gone that way. And that looks pretty good. There's a little bit of a line there, but like I said, you would spend a bit more time. So there you go. That's how this one tile makes this whole pattern. And that's how you make a seamless repeating pattern in Canva. In the notes, I'll link up all the blog posts that I referred to, and I'll also link up um, the elements they got from Creative Market, the uh, dot dash seamless pattern and the tropical paradise and anything else that's relevant. Um, and come and check out my Instagram um, where I mostly have some sewing stuff. And that's why I'm interested in this uh, seamless pattern stuff um, on Spoonflower. Okay, see you later. Bye.